So I had a conversation with a client recently and I was sharing with her an experience that I um, had had um, many, many times uh, to support her on her journey. And what I had was noticing for myself was that I was getting into this state or experience of being pissed off again and again and again. And it became very familiar. Like I started to catch it like, oh, I'm pissed off again. This keeps coming up. This is a recurring thing. There's a pattern here. And so I started to get really curious and explore this more deeply. Um, and when I was sharing this with her, with my client, she asked me, was, was this happening because there was an addiction to that emotion where you like kind of caught up in that? And I was like, well, yeah, that, that could be a part of it. I do believe that we can get addicted to these different emotions, especially ones that create arousal and heightened energy. We can actually get addicted to the rush of anxiety and stress. I actually had a, I believe it was a podcast episode quite early on in the podcast um, where I spoke about the addiction to stress and that rise of energy. It's kind of like those adrenaline junkies that might go like jumping off cliffs and things, but actually we're kind of getting addicted to the adrenaline rush and the, um, those hormones that come with being stressed and anxious and pissed off. Um, I also notice that with anger, we can feel a sense of power. And so if we're feeling powerless in certain areas of our life, we can kind of go into anger or rage to feel a sense of power, to feel less of that uncomfortable feeling of powerlessness. But I also um, ex shared with her the exploration around when we can come into almost like an experience of being at war with ourselves. And that's what I was noticing when I went into this exploration around why I was pissed off all the time and I kept feeling this pissed offness. And I was like, oh, actually, there's part of me that was still caught up in a cycle of people pleasing and doing what I felt would please someone else and what I felt would make them feel good at the expense of myself. And so part of me was doing this people pleasing in order to get the love, the acceptance, the belonging that I craved. And then this other part was like, hell no, like I don't want to do that and was getting really pissed off at having to people please and do the things that I really just didn't want to do to get the love acceptance and belonging that I craved and so there was part of me like I have to do this in order to feel safe in order to get love in order to get my needs met and this other part was like no I don't want to do that that's so like not what I want and so there was like this war going on this inner conflict causing a lot of inner turmoil um, a lot of pain and suffering and it was through this exploration that I'm bringing a lot of this stuff from the unconscious into the conscious and giving myself that op opportunity to integrate what needs to be integrated and to get those needs met in a different way. So to become aware of what my needs are that aren't getting met and then exploring new ways to get them met to create more of this inner peace. I also started to explore more recently the unconscious part that might actually get it, be getting a rise out of being pissed off like actually enjoying the arousal and the rise that I was getting of being pissed off and also how I might be benefiting by holding on to the story or by being in this experience what am I actually benefiting or how am I benefiting by continuing this pattern because sometimes we might be actually benefiting from what we are saying is not serving or by holding ourselves back from getting what we want or having more of what we want and having more of what we don't or what we say we don't want how am I benefiting from this bring that from the unconscious into the conscious so that I have the opportunity to choose a new experience if I so desire so it was through this deep exploration that I was actually able to shift a lot of this and instead of constantly getting pissed off by external situations and circumstance and what someone else is doing, which is really giving my power away because I'm allowing these external experiences to dictate how I feel and how I live my life and the experience that I'm having, I'm reclaiming my power in this exploration. There's also this area of like we become familiar with what we've been practicing and playing out time and time again. So it was becoming really familiar for me to be in this experience. And it was actually harder 
for me to hold on to or to sit in an experience of happiness or joy or bliss or inner peace. So even if I was to move from that pissed off feeling into more of a, oh, okay, I found my inner peace, how long was I allowing myself to feel that inner peace before I went and created the pissed off feeling again? Because again, we are in the power. We are these magnificent creator beings. We're creating all the time and we have a choice of what we focus on, what we create, what experiences we have. But if we are allowing our unconscious to dictate our life and our experience and we're not actually aware of what's creating our current experience and we're constantly saying, well, I'm feeling this way because they made me feel that way or this happened and we're giving our power away and creating this kind of experience of being the victim then we're giving away our power to create the experience that we so desire. And so as I started to explore with that a bit more, it was like, all right, how long am I allowing myself to feel happy? How long am I allowing myself to feel peace? And what am I doing to change that? So what is it that is actually drawing me back to feeling pissed off again? And the more I sat with that, it was like, oh, I'm actually creating this experience. And as I took responsibility for creating that experience, I reclaimed my power and I was able to start to expand my capacity to be with the happy, to be with the wonderful, to be with the inner peace, to laugh and enjoy my life and my relationships rather than being pissed off all the time. And then when I was pissed off, I allowed myself to feel that and I welcomed it and I got curious about it. I didn't wrong and shame it anymore. It wasn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's just an experience. But what are you choosing to experience? So allow yourself to feel what's coming up and tune in like, where is this coming from? What is this revealing to me? And do I want to stay here? And then what can I do to expand my capacity to feel more happy, to feel more joy and peace and connection and start to gently expand that? Because if we were to jump to the intensity of like, if I were to just feel all of the happy now and all of the joy and all of the bliss, all of the pleasure, it can actually be too overwhelming for the nervous system. So sometimes we actually push away what we perceive as good feelings We push it away because there's part of us that doesn't feel like we can handle it. It feels like this is too much. It's too intense. I can't handle this because it's unfamiliar territory. So we need to take the time and do the work to expand that capacity to feel the good, to feel the happy and to bring more of that in. I just recorded and published an episode on my podcast, which is about expanding your capacity to receive. So this is going to be really relatable here. Because I had another conversation today with a client and she was feeling like as she was receiving, it was really foreign. It was really uncomfortable. And there was almost like this part of her that wanted to shut down and push away that receiving because she's been in a cycle or a pattern of overgiving, people pleasing, self-sacrificing. And that's actually what she knows. That's where her comfort is. And so it's her journey of expanding her capacity to receive. And I've talked about this a lot in in my work and it's been a big part of my own journey and this will also expand or support you to um, go deeper with what we've explored today in this live so I highly recommend going to listen to that episode it's just been published I believe it's number 115 Um, and then we can just start to work on expanding our capacity for sensation because that's what emotion is it's energy in motion it's it's a sensation We actually make it mean something. So an emotion is good because we've declared it as good. Emotion is bad because we've said it's bad. We've said it's negative. It actually is just purely sensation. And so as we expand our capacity to feel, to be in our body, to experience the intensity of some of these emotions, they become less overpowering, all-consuming, and we are able to hold more space for when we're in the depths of grief, anger, rage, sadness, as well as when we're in the enlightened or expansive feelings of joy and bliss and pleasure, we're able to experience more of it and really enjoy our human experience because that's why we're here is to experience this. And then you'll find that you're more able to attract 
more experiences, more feelings of the joy, the happy, the things that you say that you want to feel more of, it'll be easier to call those in, to magnetize them um, and to really enjoy them. So thank you for being here. I'm so excited to share more about this. Um, I'd love for you to go and have a listen to that podcast episode I just published and let me know what resonates, what you take away and what you're ready to implement moving forward. Sending so much love.